Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You owe me back room rent. Now, don't get excited. How much is it? You owe me 13 weeks at $7 a week. Tidy sum, isn't it? Pardon me just a minute. Sure. Uh, Lou. Uh, here's $28. $28? Shh. Give him that old routine of ours, you know, 7 into 28, 13 times. Oh, hey. Give me the Crayola. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now, and do it right this time. I hope it works. Make it snappy. Okay. Uh, Mr. Landlord. Yeah? What are you smoking, an army blanket? Never mind about that. You owe me room rent. All right, here's $28. $28, fine. Just a minute. You owe me 13 weeks at $7 a week, and that happens to be a lot more than $28. Well, that comes to $28. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. Do you mean to say that you can prove that 7 times 13 is 28? Well, it's got to be. Certainly it is, because Mr. Rabbit and I, that, that, that's $28. That's what you get. If you can prove it, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will give you the room rent for nothing. You will? But if you don't prove it, you owe me double the back rent. Is it a deal? That's a deal. Okay. Do you happen to have any Crayola on there? Crayola? Never mind. I got it. Well, you have. I got the Crayola. The 7 and 28 is going to come out 13. That's your way. That's my way. And it's got to come out right. Now, first, I put down the 7. Right. Now... I'm going to divide the 7 into 28. Yeah. I put a 28 there. Okay. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> now, here we go. 7 into 2. 7 will not go into 2. It will not. That's a very big 7 to push into that little bit of 2. I should say it is. We ain't going to hurt that little 2, are we? Of course you will. So we take the 2. Open your hand. Yes. And I put that 2 right there for safekeeping. But don't drop it and don't lose it. Now, 7 into 8. Once. Once. I put the one over here, one over there. Now, we're going to carry the seven because it's very big and it's getting heavy on my shoulders, and I'm going to drop the seven under there. Now, seven from eight is one. Is one. I put the one down there. Mm -hmm. Now it comes. Would you mind opening up your palm of your hand, please? I would like to use that two. Open it up. Give me that two. You had it long enough. <laughs> I'm going to put that two right there. Now, seven into 21? Three times. That's right. Seven into 28? 13. Oh, wait, a wait, a wait, a wait a minute. You have to prove this even better than that. You can prove it very easily by multiplication. You mean you want me to multiply it? No, no, not multiply. Multiply. <laughs> multiply. All right, all right. All right. Multiply it. Seven times 13 is 20. Prove it. Go ahead. Now, first, we've got to put down a 13, right? Right. There's a 13. Times seven. Times seven. Right. Seven weeks times 13, right? Seven times three? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Seven times one? Seven. Seven. Seven and one? Eight. And two to carry. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm still not convinced. There's one sure way of proving this. One sure way. And that's by addition. You want me to addition it up? I want you to put 13 seven times on that wall and then draw a line and add them up. You want me to put down 13 seven times? That's right. It's got to come out right. <laughs> There's one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the idea of spreading them out like that? Well, it looks like a, a flock of seagulls going to hit the electric poles. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to add them up, right? All right, go ahead. Here we go. Three, six, wait a nine. Minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me do the adding this time. <laughs> come out come out right. <laughs> well, three, a six, a nine. Just a minute. I will do the adding. Then there'll be no mistake. Yeah? All right. <laughs> Twenty-eight dollars here. <laughs> All right, sure. Now, go ahead. If you had it up, go ahead. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. <laughs>